Hello YouTubers, today I'm showing you how you are using barcode reader. The barcode reader is just easy. You have to buy any barcode reader device. It doesn't matter what brand it is. Just if you have a barcode reader with a USB connected to your computer, it's just easy. See, now I have connected my barcode reader. Now I'm scanning the barcode. It immediately fetches the code to the my, uh, whatever, wherever. Suppose if you have a text box or if you have a notepad, word, document, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. See how it, now I'm going to use it. See, it's just easy. I'm just uh, pushing the button and automatically transfers the number of barcode to my computer. Now, here I'm showing you uh, the form of PHP and with HTML, also and database regist registration. First of all, what you are doing here, we are using a... Uh, HTML, okay. Here's HTML, and uh, we are creating form. So form method is a post. It's called post, and action is a. Uh, my file is a called a barcode.php. So I'm gonna target to this my barcode.php. Barcode.php. Now simply create a form. Uh, now we, we have created the form now in the text input type the text and let's name calling it barcode okay and we need a submission button so input type equals to button or let's say submit here and the name let's say submit so we have created our form now we are going to our desktop and we are reloading C over here we have our input text box and submission button see I'm clicking nothing happens so I'm gonna go back to my code here now I am starting my PHP so we are saying if is set post okay what's called is set post we are saying that if this button getting submitted so buttons called dollar underscore post uh, from big bracket we are calling the name of the submit button our button is name submit submit okay now we are taking the name of that text box let's say uh, dollar barcode equals to dollar underscore post barcode simply I'm just echoing it after submission echo echo and let's give br Okay, we, we give break that with the concatenation and now barcode, barcode variable. Now, what we did over here, we made a if it said post submit. So, if this button getting clicked, so what will happen? Uh, it takes the number of barcode and submitting it, then over here it will echo it and showing the barcode. So, we will save it and coming back to my here, here's my code. Let's just reload the book. Okay. Now over here, see, I'm uh, just using my barcode. See, immediately it showed what the barcode number. It's, uh, by the way, it's auto submit. You have to know that when you're using your barcode device. Uh, after registering the barcode name, uh, barcode uh, number, it immediately submits by default. Now, see, again, I will use it. Now, see, it recorded the code and it's echoed on the page. So now you can include to your database. Okay, now, uh, now we'll, we will uh, store the barcode to our database. We'll use MySQL. So go to localhost. Okay, localhost. phpMyAdmin. We'll create table. Uh, we have many databases over here. I've already created for different companies. Uh, I will use it in iTower. It doesn't matter. Okay. And over here, I will create a table. Table. Let's get. Let's say called barcode. And we'll have three columns. Okay. Go. Over here we have ID. Let's say integer. Eleven and auto increment. 
and over here barcode number barcode number let's do that uh, mostly it's a integer so you can use Varka, Varka, but okay, still use integer. Doesn't matter. It's better to use Varka because sometimes if the code is is more than uh, ten digits, sometimes it creates uh, trouble for me. I've used many times for phone number. Uh, it uh, it was creating problem. So I use Varka. Then let's say fifty five. Doesn't matter. You can use any card. And here here we are using time or date. We'll choose what. See over here, you are free to use date, or you are using timestamp, date and time. Just use date, no problem. We don't have to declare any length of value. Just save it and click save. Now our table is ready by the name of barcode. What will what will, will what we will do is now? Uh, we'll make a database connection. We call it a MySQL underscore connect. Sorry, MySQL connect. I uh, will use a local. Our server's name is localhost. Localhost. And uh, server uh, username is uh, root. Password is also root. By the way, I'm using Mac, so for Mac, uh, I, I actually use the password just like root. Uh, whenever you are installing your WAMP server, there is no password. Uh, you can put password also, but it doesn't matter. And now here we will declare the uh, database uh, name, mysql underscore db name. Our database name is called itower. Okay. Now our database is uh, ready. Here we'll say that. Um, let's say do a query equals to mysql underscore query insert into your table name what, what our table name is a uh, barcode insert into table name values okay what's the value id is uh, id is by default gets uh, auto incremented and what's first of all our the uh, first, the uh, second column is called barcode number. So what you would just need to put this value over here, variable here. Mm, comma, times now. Finish. So we'll use header to reload our page. Location. Barcode.php. Finish. Now see, after clicking submit, it will read the barcode and immediately it will put into my table name. Table name is barcode and the value is barcode variable uh, according with time, date. Okay, so after form getting submitted and after storing in database, page automatically will load to our page barcode.php. Just save it and go back to your page. Just load the page. Oh, extension. Hey guys, so uh, sorry I was facing some problem. It was just because of Ash, it was showing unnecessary uh, errors. Just use this code error reporting e a underscore all error underscore deprecated. So it will automatically prevent all unnecessary errors. So I'm just, I have just used the dollar link, MySQL connect, localhost, root, and over again, MySQL sel underscore select db. It's called by tower. Fine. Now everything's done. We will use it again. There we go. Let's see. Now the name should be inserted to my table. Fuck. 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 So guys, I have came back again. Uh, sorry to showing uh, some unnecessary errors over here. We are just using error reporting uh, to just uh, prevent all unnecessary reports uh, errors. Okay, so now everything is done. All you need just connect to your database. Now it's connected already. Now we will submit our form. Now just scan the barcode. See, I'm just 
loading it again see the barcode number came and here's the date so guys I hope it's gonna be I, I hope it's useful for you uh, please don't forget to like my video and subscribe thanks for watching bye bye